which specific type of Salesforce flow is eligible for flow tests. Record triggered flows. Explain the decision element in Salesforce flows. When you have multiple conditions to be checked before the complete execution of the flow, the decision element is used. It acts as an if-else logic in Salesforce flow. Example, perform a different set of actions based on the lead stage. If none of the criteria is met in the decision element, the default outcome is executed. Which flow element should be used to meet the following business requirement? Collect information from the user and create a new Salesforce record. The screen element is utilized to gather or display information to the user who is executing the process. Screen element is only available while creating a screen flow. What is a flow template? Flow templates are pre-designed flow that empower businesses to leverage and customize these frameworks to align with their specific business needs. You can access the flow templates by clicking on the Alt plus Template tab while creating a new flow. What is the latest API version utilized in Salesforce flows? The latest API version utilized in Salesforce flows is a PI version 57. How many Salesforce interviews can be in waiting at a given point of time in Salesforce? Essential editions, 30,000. Developer editions, 50,000. Unlimited editions, 50,000. What is the purpose of the collection sort elements in a flow? This element is used when you have a collection of records and you want to sort records. In the collection sort element, users have the option to select how many records they want to keep after the sorting has been performed. What is Flow Trigger Explorer? The Flow Trigger Explorer displays all the flows linked to a specific object and runs when a record is added, changed or deleted. What do you mean by the term transaction in Salesforce flow? In Salesforce, a transaction is a series of operations performed as a single unit to ensure fair resource allocation among multiple organizations. Salesforce enforces governor limits. The way a transaction begins depends on how the flow is distributed. A transaction ends when you encounter a screen, perform a local action or encounter a wait element. It completes all the tasks it was supposed to do such as record creation or update. All the interviews within that transaction have finished. What does the term bulkification mean in the context of Salesforce? Performing similar types of tasks in a batch is known as bulkification. It helps you avoid hitting the governor limits. When using flows, there is no concern about bulkification because flow interviews automatically handle the bulkification of actions.